We have now come to a spot on the top of the mountain of Cerro Brewster where we can actually see the Caribbean Sea, the Gulf of San Blas behind us. We'd get a better view if we were in one of those trees, such so as that tall tree behind us. One of those trees, Drake would have climbed. And we've reached the summit of our journey and we're going to explore the trail to the east from whence Drake came. And that leads me on to this, the purpose of travel. You can go to a nightclub in Ibiza, you can go on a package holiday to the Middle East, and you can see the world. And I always tell children to see the world. And back in the 1970s, two people said some really thought-provoking, somewhat negative statements. One woman who traveled with me once, she said, your last trip's just a memory. Then a rich man I was staying with in Miami Beach, he said, you go to the next place, then the next place, so what? And I thought, I've got to have a purpose for travel. Then I saw more pyramids, more temples, more tombs. And I, then I realized in 1980 that I could go everywhere Francis Drake went. I first went to Veracruz in Mexico and saw his picture there. And by coincidence, I said, yes, I remember this story from when I was at school. And I became a Dracologist, going to 46 countries, writing books, and having a purpose to travel. And that is my message to you. Go and see the world. Don't smoke. Don't buy alcohol. Don't do drugs. Spend your money on items that you've got to show how you've spent your money. Go and see the world and put pictures to history. For example, has anybody ever followed the route of Marco Polo? And my last message is to you, go to the website that we've created called indrakeswake.com, which is primarily my work. And if you click on to Drake Exploration Society, you'll see people that have come together to promote the legacy of Sir Francis Drake.